So now there are different frontal shapes, and they have uh, definitions. There are definitions. Some fronts are called prograde fronts, and some are called retrograde fronts. So now the definition is based on the general shape. So if you look from the side, and there are four examples shown here, if the slope of the front has the same sign as the slope of the seabed, it's called a prograde front. And retrograde fronts are ones where the slopes are opposite. Okay, you can easily see that if you compare the slopes of the red curves, which is the shape of the front, and the brown curves characterize the, the shape of the seafloor. You look from the side here. However, you can also use this example now to try to imagine how are these fronts actually formed. Okay, because we talked about processes that, for example, create heavier water. Okay, and we talked about processes that create lighter water in coastal regions. So let's start talking about the light water. So look, look at the bottom right, the example here on the bottom right. It's this example here, where you have light water sitting near the surface. Okay, so what, for example, creates this is a river plume. It's a river. It's an outflow of fresh water, low salinity water from a, from a river, from a large river, and ending up on the surface because low salinity water is lighter, can offset temperature effects. Okay, and above that you have the same situation here, uh, except that there is a connection with the seafloor. This can also happen in, 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 in with river discharge. Another example of what can produce light water is actually atmospheric heating. And heat up the water and produce a light um, shelf water condition. So on the left side we have situations where we have dense water. Dense water created can be, for example, through the release of salt brines when you form new ice, okay, or you have a um, cooling events, okay, you can produce denser shelf water. The bottom left image is a little bit more tricky because essentially you have a connection between the shelf water and the subsurface water in offshore, offshore uh, uh, region and the open ocean. Okay? So you can also have that that connection, you know, in, in in special circumstances. All right. So you learned about here the definition of fronts, you know, prograde, retrograde, but also a little bit thinking about which processes actually create fronts.